Holy sh**. I have news. Okay, so some of you might know that I just opened up a room in an antique shop. Well, part of that project was having to get organized prior to that happening. I've had comic books at my house, my parents' house, and storage. And one of the projects I've been doing this past month leading up to this is actually getting everything in the same pile, numerically ordered, and cataloged. I now am actually aware of all the comics I had. It was a massive undertaking. And it turns out that if you've been hitting flea markets, garage sales, yard sales, back bins, dollar bins at your local comic book shop, shout out to Phantasm Comics where I'm pretty sure like 50% of all this is from, you might be accumulating more than you think. I just learned that I have 19 complete runs of certain volumes and I'm getting pretty darn close on another 19, look at that. So yes, in recent years I've been going nuts trying to buy collections and buy in bulk whenever and wherever I can, but I have been doing this for years, so some of this is a really nice surprise to see that holy smokes, a lot of this when put together equals a full collection. Here are the full collections. A couple of these I had an inkling that I had, and some of these were complete surprises to me. Number one, I knew about this, Cable. I do have a full run of the 90s Cable run. Big deal. I do have a full run of Shadow of the Bat. That is actually for sale on my eBay page. I obviously knew about this one. Green Lantern by Jeff Johns. I've got that complete. I have a full run of Punisher, and I had no idea. Now, what's interesting is I did, for a time, have a lot of duplicates. In the past couple of years, I've been taking duplicates that I have and just giving them to my comic book shop. But I believe me, I still have plenty of duplicates of these books. Punisher Warzone, also apparently complete. X-Force, I have at least one full complete run of X-Force. I didn't write down my duplicates, but some of those, I've got like 10 copies of each. Like, I'm pretty sure I have 50 copies of number one. X Factor, apparently that's complete too. This was a nice surprise, the 90s, or I think it started in the late 80s. Doctor Strange run, I had no idea. Wolverine I've got complete, and that is actually the complete run of Wolverine is at my antique shop in the bins. Um, X-Men, the 1991, um, which is funny because my uncanny X-Men is really spotty, but I picked up X-Men, I don't know when and where, but it's the full run all 208 issues. Green Lantern Volume 3, that's the 1990 all the way to the end of the run. 182 issues, no surprise there that I have it all. I'm a massive Green Lantern fan, and I've been trying to get 9.8s out of a lot of them. Adventures of Superman, probably the biggest surprise out of all of the data I pulled together here. There are 227 issues. I've got them all. Uh, Marvel Comics Presents, there's 175 of those. I have every single one. That is also, the full thing is at my antique shop. West Coast Avengers, Volume 1, and Avengers West Coast, Volume 2. Complete, every issue, nothing missing. JLA, apparently, nothing missing. Again, I'm going to remind you guys that I'm not buying full collections of just JLA. These are, like, pieced together from different collections and different pickups. So that's what makes this pretty spectacular. I've been putting off this massive recording for years, and it's really nice to know that it's a good thing I didn't take everything to the local comic book shop because apparently I'm just sitting on some full runs of stuff. Batman 200 to 713, you guys already know I've got that complete, not missing a single issue from 200 all the way to the end of volume one. Uh, Detective Comics, sadly, I had been pulling stuff out to submit. I had sent a couple things off for claim sales, so that's not as complete as it once was. New Teen Titans Volume 1, it turns into Tales of the New Teen Titans. There's 91 issues. I have it all. Spider-Woman, complete. Batgirl, complete. Howard the Duck, complete. Ms. Marvel, complete. So a lot of those are ones that I had no idea. I had little inklings like I should count those sometime. I could have a complete run. Yes, I do. Now here's what I think is even more impressive. I've got a list of the stuff that is almost complete. I'm missing a couple issues or something like that. Listen to this. Namor the Submariner, I'm only missing five issues. I don't even remember picking that up ever. That must have been like, a 50 cent bin thing mixed with a collection coming in, but that's almost done. 
All right, uh, JSA, not JLA, JLA, JSA, missing two issues. Completely random issues, too, not even keys. Silver Surfer Volume 2, I'm missing 12 issues. There are 147 issues total. New Teen Titans Volume 2, there's 131 issues. I am missing one. And that's not the only one where I'm only missing one. You'll see that again. Captain America, which we're talking about 100, to the final issue 454, I am only missing 59 issues of all 355 of those books. That's pretty impressive. There are 380 Hulk books, um, meaning Hulk 102 to 474. I'm not counting one through six. Uh, I am missing 16 issues. Holy crap. Fantastic Four, there are 416 issues. I am missing 58 issues out of 416. Jeez. Avengers, and unfortunately, I just did two claim sales where I got rid of like 20 all the way to like 70 and everything sold. This would have been better. There are 402 Avengers books. I am missing 33. If I didn't sell that stuff at claim sales, I would have had like, I would I would be missing maybe like 12. It, yeah, crazy. Uh, Legends of the Dark Knight, I'm missing 24 issues. We did like a year ago, we did, I think it was a 5,000 subscriber giveaway. I gave away a complete run of that. So apparently I almost have another complete run of that ready to go. Ultimate Spider-Man is missing three issues. Here we go. Another one missing one issue. New Mutants. You can probably guess which issue I'm missing. I am missing 98. I was missing 87, but I actually just got a really sharp newsstand copy in. It is on its way to CGC. Saga of Swamp Thing, or I call the Alan Moore run. Uh, there's 171 issues. I'm missing nine. That's way better than I thought. Teen Titans, the 2003, I am missing one issue. There are 100 of those. The Spectre by John Ostrander, one of my favorite comic book runs of all time. I've recommended it like 50 times to you guys. Missing one issue. It is the biggest key. I will say a lot of the stuff that's missing is the keys, the really hard to get stuff. Like your first Kang and your first, I don't know, the first Wolverine, obviously I don't have that. Uh, Alpha Flight is missing two issues. One of them's a key, one of them's completely freaking random. G.I. Joe, I'm missing 27 issues. Uh, I almost didn't mention it on here, but there are 155 of them. And to be only missing 27, that's not bad. And I wasn't actively seeking that, just like any of these. I wasn't actively seeking it. It's just 15 years of accumulated comics. Turns out it's totaling, once you sort everything and make it numerical, pretty darn close. Superboy from the 90s? There are 101 books. I'm only missing four. I gotta get those. That should be really easy. All right, last two, four, and I'm talking about 126 to 502. I'm not counting Journey into Mystery. I'm only missing 41 issues. I also had a bunch of that come in, and same thing with the last couple claim sales. I sold all of it, and so I'm missing 41 issues. If I didn't sell those, I'd probably be missing like 20. Um, so that's really impressive. All the Thors are at the antique shop. Unfortunately, there's a lot of Thor books that aren't keys. That's like what I got. All the ones that are the major keys, I either had not just sold or I'm just missing them. And last but not least, a collection I've worked on for years. I also am helping my buddy out with his, and his is actually a notch more impressive than mine. Amazing Spider-Man. There are 442 issues. I'm only missing 52 issues. Obviously, they're all the single and double, double digits ones. Um, and there were a couple bonehead moves. Like, I had a number nine, and I sold it. Probably shouldn't have sold that. Um, and there's ones that I think are going to be really hard to get. Like, one, two, three, 13. Uh, there's a lot of really tricky. 14. ASM's tough because everybody wants it. But the point is... I just cataloged what I had, and there's other things like Daredevil and Uncanny X-Men that didn't make the list because they're too spotty, too random. I've got all these complete runs that I didn't know. I've got all these other runs that I should go for it. I should actually try to complete an Avengers run. I should try to complete... I was almost going to say Fantastic Four. That's impossible. 
I'm always going to be looking for ASM, trying to complete that. That might take another 10 years. Those books are too freaking expensive. Doesn't necessarily mean that a lot of these copies are great condition. There are definitely some bulk beater crap. Like a lot of my, uh, what is it? Was it Thor? No, a lot of the FF books, um, I actually just got them in bulk and they're like, you know, six fives and stuff like that like dollar bin stuff, but hey, whatever. It all goes to the big puzzle of completing these runs. So you guys already know that doing this full time and even when I was doing it part time, I was able to complete a full run of Iron Man, which I still have. Well, turns out there's a lot more complete than just that. And uh, I'm a little bit impressed and horrified at the same time. Um, this is all mostly in storage. Some of the silly ones, like the first, like the full run of Cable and full Wolverine, that's going to be at the antique shop. The bigger stuff, obviously, storage. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool indeed. This is why you keep on hunting and keep lists, I recommend. See you at the next video.